let's talk about backward planning approach. So, planning. Uh, from the Oxford Language D Dictionary, it's a process of making plans for something. So, when you want to make some plans to reach your goals, so you probably should do some planning. Uh, before you do any planning without like uh, any approaching, so you should answer on three questions. It's why you are doing so. Like, does it make sense to do it? Uh, whether will it be better? Uh, will you help somebody? Will you improve your like project or something like that? So you need to know like an answer on this question, like why you are doing so. It's not because like your manager asked you to do so, but just deep uh, like sense of it. Then uh, once you have answer on this, you need to ask yourself, okay, who gonna do it? Like you can do it or some people can do it. You can ask somebody to do it. Uh, it's clear. Then how you can do it? Like just uh, the ways, uh, possible ways to do some things, some steps. So uh, usually when people uh, plan something, they have some goal, like it's in cloud. For example, you've been asked to do something and you imagine the result, something like that. So in that cloud should be like several like results like that. And you go from the start, like step by step and to reach your goal. Uh, usually it goes like that, like, like at least uh, uh, at my example. So I just plan in something, if I plan straightforward, then I have several steps, then come back, then maybe I have some uh, conditions there and, and so on and so on. Like it's completely fine when you do research. So when you do research, it's uh, like normal thing that you just uh, go in some like uh, way, then you come back because you figure out it doesn't work in that way. But if you do like exactly, you know what to do, so it shouldn't look like that. So you should exactly like know the goal and like uh, like go like straightforward from the uh, start to to your goal. So planning from the end, it's uh, it like it just uh, do in opposite direction. So you have goal, then you just uh, it's it's a state. So you want to achieve. Then you uh, the states you you imagine states before the like last stage before the goal then again and again and again and to the start position so this approach was uh, invented in 70s like 1970s by two guys it's Grant Winks and J. McTighe and uh, those guys use this approach for education so for people who like learn some stuff so they figure out that this is the best way so they want the person know something and then go from the like end to the uh, to the beginning to just uh, teach this person. So you can imagine in that matter like a GPS navigator. So you put the destination point you want to reach out, and if you go like for example from the destination point to the start <coughs> position, so you just uh, it's like it works. So it's like pretty simple. So you can even like draw on on the like uh, take a pen and paper and draw like your current state, your destination and draw exactly like the states that uh, like leads to, to, the, uh, to the beginning position. So uh, let's take a look and uh, make a coffee like with like let's say we have imaginary people like Emma and John and we will make coffee not in, in the straight way. I will show you how to do it like in backward way. So in straight way, you just like pick up, add some coffee, add some milk, and it's ready. Like, right? Let's do it like in opposite direction. So we have like our coffee ready, like it's coffee with milk, cup of coffee with milk. Then before that, we have like cup just with hot milk without anything. Uh, before that, we have like another cup with coffee. Uh, we have grinded coffee that later we can put in, in the cup and get a uh, cup with coffee. And before that, we have cup and it's starting position. So 
it's like states that we want to achieve. So those square, it's like states here. So between those states, it's action that we need to do. Like for example, to get like ready coffee, we need to add some hot milk there. Like it will, will be like coffee with milk. Uh, between like those two stages, we just add uh, milk. Then uh, between those we add coffee and uh, we just take, for example, cup, coffee beans, and uh, we have a cup here at the beginning. So now we see that what things we need to make like this coffee, like exactly. We need cup, coffee beans, uh, milk, like hot milk, and yeah, that's it. Uh, then we write here actions, like what we need to do, like to make it happen. So here like we adding milk, uh, heating milk, uh, making coffee, grinded uh, coffee beans, and taking cup. And now we need to figure out who gonna do it. So this step like uh, adding milk will do Emma. Uh, step with uh, like heating milk also uh, uh, does Emma. Then John uh, make coffee and John green coffee. So, and Emma provide cup uh, to John. So, now we see like full picture of it. Like, uh, we can do like small table. So, for example, now we have like states, uh, which are green ones. And here like, it's basically the same, but uh, it's in pretty table. Then we can uh, see at this table and like create like smaller table with, uh, with actions that could be done in parallel. For example, like Emma could take a cup and for example, John Green that coffee at the same time. Then heating milk and making coffee, adding milk. So you see like using this approach, it will be like mostly like straightforward. Like it's simple example uh, and maybe it doesn't represent it in the like best way. But once you start doing like more complicated things, more complicated features, maybe developing code, Etc. So it, you you will figure out that it's really like uh, like great process and uh, it's like really simplifies uh, your life. So uh, there are some questions that uh, might appear there. So for example, what uh, should I do if I stuck in the middle and need to add conditions? So for example, you go like from the end to the beginning and you recognize that okay, now I need to have like here like some condition. So in this approach, conditions are not acceptable. So you just, if you have condition, just uh, create like two plans like that. So you will have like two plans and then you figure out w which one is better. Or once you reach uh, the destination point, let's say you reach some uh, like state and you see that there will be like two conditions, just uh, think about it and go like on the like uh, simplest way. Uh, so sh what should we focus on, like time or story points? It's about uh, transition between stages. So usually we don't know like what is better. Uh, usually like uh, time points, it's not like the best way here because like I could provide example, like it's about reaching goals. For example, if you want to clean up your room, you don't think, okay, I will be cleaning up my room for like 15 minutes or 30 minutes. You want your room be cleaned up. So you just, you know, uh, focus on result. And uh, in this way, it's better use this story points here. So you, look, you just see how uh, complicated it would be like to reach uh, the like destination point. And if it's like too complicated, so you put like maybe like more story points uh, if it's like less complicated less co story points so uh, agile practitioners uh, like if somebody is lost so will appreciate this approach I believe uh, so and uh, where when and when uh, you can use this plan uh, so you can use it like anywhere in your life if you learning if you want to like uh, reach some goals. I don't know, you, you, for example, want to be promoted. So you can imagine, okay, I'm promoted right now. What I have like before that, what before, before, before. And once you start thinking in opposite direction, it will add you like more flexibility in this matter. 
and uh, yeah, you can use it in your project like anywhere. So that's basically it. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the, the question was about like uh, if plans like uh, if real life diverges from your plan. So yes, you you should have like a plan that you need to stick to. And once you see that something goes wrong, so you just redraw your, your plan from the also like from the like end to this to this moment and, and at, at your point. So of course, like life is unpredictable and it might happen everything. So you just. Uh, re rewrite it like from the, this point where you are. So, for example, you done half and you recognize, okay, now things changed, so I need new plan. So you just take new one. Yeah, so uh, the question was about like uh, what is matrix about like uh, if it's uh, if this approach is better or not. So according to those guys who implemented it, so this approach they told that uh, like much better than at least 20%. And if you see this picture like that always happen, it's like imaginary picture, but it's like wasting of time, you know, all these loops and all of these conditions. So we want exactly like use this like straight one so it's like definitely better like it's my point of view i believe it's better and i use it <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's different way of thinking. You know, you it's the the thing is that you see like the goal, you imagine it. You do, you want what you what you want to achieve, like in the end. It's not like I I want uh, some I don't know web page that represents something in the good way. But yeah, but what exactly you want? So and then we will do it. Like, let's say. Yeah, and the shortest way to reach it. Yeah. Other questions? No? Thank you guys for coming.